Alhamdulillah <laughs> رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري وحدة قطبة من نسالي يفقه قول اما بعد ايها الاخوه والاخوات السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته uh, today we want to talk about um, transforming yourself uh, how can you um, transform yourself uh, when we talk about transformation it's a concept that it's uh, having a general meaning, but um, we have to uh, deduce it into our own uh, uh, topic so that it can be a kind of a narrow for us or smaller for us, for us to um, talk about. Because if we're talking about transformation, it will talk a little bit wider into multiple aspects. Uh, um, so we want to talk about um, transforming tra tra transform yourself, but in a, an Islamic way, in a point whereby maybe you're less um, religious, you're less uh, 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 in following or copying the sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, to transform yourself into a a better person. So with this, I uh, gather some few points uh, to talk about. Like I told you earlier, it's a wider topic. So for us to have um, a kind of a summary discussion on it, uh, we really have to um, make it uh, a kind of small so that uh, we can talk about. Because if we, we are to talk about complete topic or in a subject of transformation, we will really have a very long time. It will take us hours, not even minutes. Uh, so first, uh, to my own uh, uh, understanding of uh, transformation and uh, due to what I got from uh, the Quran and the Sunnah, uh, we can put on transformation as a system of reform, as a system of, uh, uh, of changing, changing. What is changing? Changing from where you are to a better to a better personality or a better person uh first what you can do to transform yourself uh i think we can take the point of uh belief faith have the faith in yourself uh ihsan af ihsan in you and to abdullah haka annaka tarahu fa illam taqun tarahu fa innahu yarak yani you can anything you do believe that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, watching and seeing you. So this is the inner point, the, like the inner belief in you should have that feeling that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if he is as in your presence, as if you see him. This is the Isan. That means you, 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 you give your absolute um, uh, faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, if you have this this uh, belief in you, for example, you you forget to pray um, uh, Salat al-Zuhr in uh, Jami'ah, that means in the mocks uh, during the congregational time, and uh, you're still at home, you pray. Not, okay, only I pray when people see me go to mocks. You pray. Uh, and if you remember in the there is a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that says As-salatu tanha anil fa'ashai wal munkar That means as far as you you do pray continuously It may not happen in the beginning It may not happen first week It may not happen second week 
it is as you can still be playing in your first week you can still convert you can still start changing in the first week but you have some likes for something uh that are maybe pretty bad but continuously with you when you have um the discipline when you have the the the, the self uh, uh discipline and training in you gradually if you are maybe drugs you start to go away from it you are doing many kinds of uh, things uh, you start to reduce them while you continue the prayer so what i'm trying to say here is you have the belief and you have first you have the faith as we thought first we have the belief and uh, secondly the the next point is you start the action you start doing what is right and what is wrong even if physically you are not having that change it's gradually it will uh, come uh, the change and uh, the second thing is Islamic knowledge or orientation. When we talk about Islamic knowledge, and we are not talking about you become a sheikh or you become an imam. No, we are talking about you know the basic. Tawheed, Ta'abud Allah, Ma'arifat Allahi, Ma'arifat Rasulullah, wa Ma'arifat Deen al-Islam. Yani, if you have this Tawheed first in the concept of uh, knowledge, you know who is your God? Allah. You know who is your Nabi? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And you know your religion. What is knowing your religion? How to perform everything. Starting from the salah, starting from the, the salah and the zakat and the, uh, uh, all these uh, pillars of Islam, the, the fasting, the, you know what is right, what is wrong, how to do it, how to make it uh, 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 perfect. You know what is fadail, you know what is uh, sunan. Yani you, 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 you make yourself knowledgeable. To tell you how important knowledge it is in the field of Islam, the first risala Allah sent to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was ikra. Ikra. Read. That's the literal meaning of ikra. Kira'a is from a word of Arabic that said Kira'a read. And Ikra, the ak, in the form of asking you to, to uh, 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 read. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ladi Kalak. Yani, all these uh, uh, um, points I'm bringing here is what will make you, make it for you easy for you to um, transform yourself uh, into the Ihidina uh, Surat al Mustaqim. This is the main transformation. Ihidina Surat al Mustaqim. If we look at the, 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 the life of the Sahaba, we see it's a clean transformation. Why I said uh, the life of the Sahaba is a clean transformation is um, Umar bin Qaddab radiallahu ta'ala anhu was uh, saying, We are a humiliated people. But when Islam came, it honors us. Yeah, and subhanallah, they were in the Jahiliyyah. They were among what the Jewish at that time used to call Ummiyun. People that are of ignorance or, or, or of, of, of illiteracy. No, no, no experience of uh, um, um, knowledge. Uh, but Islam came, it transformed them. Before 300 years of Islam, Islam have conquered the world completely. And in the history of mankind, they have never had an empire compared to that. This one, we're talking about the, the, the kingdomic form. If we're talking about the literal form in the point of medicine, in the point of science, astronomy, in the point of every kind of uh, science and uh, 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 technology, like the basic roots at that era at the beginning of the uh, during the sahaba and the tabi and tabi et tabi'in salam allahi alayhun so what what clearly is most of them they came to the prophet accepted islam and they become changed forever but it was not miraculous it was not like that it was not it's not angel that came and uh, transformed them in a night no First, they have the faith, absolute faith, 
And the second thing, they put their faith into action. That is what we are saying. You have the faith, you put it into action. What is the action? Al-Ihsan. That is the action. And secondly, they, they acquire the knowledge. Each and every verse that was given to them, they have to study it, they have to learn it, and they have to put it into, the, into practice. So that is, they, they what? First, they have the faith, they have the belief. They pray, they, they have faith and sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And secondly, they, they um, uh, put it to action. They consume the knowledge, thirdly. And what did they do next? They became a model. They became a model. Ila yawmiddin. Till today. So transforming yourself is completely the, the, what Islam brought to the world. What the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought to the world. So don't feel, uh, 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 no, I, I, I cannot change. Uh, no, 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 it's, 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 it's a kind of hard. No, no, don't, don't have that um, uh, 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 feeling. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, he, he raised from the dead. At the same time, from the dead. And he uh, 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 take it from the living. Like he took the dead from the living and he raised the dead from the, uh, the he raised a life from the dead. Yeah, and what, what I'm trying to tell you is you can see a person that is bad, can't turn to, to, to um, good. But like I told you, it's not miraculous. You have to take first, uh, some uh, certain steps and you have to observe patient. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned a lot of sabirin, sabirin, inna Allah ala sabirin, inna Allah ala sabirin, all, a lot of times in the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned sabr, 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 sabr. Because everything it takes, especially the point of transformation, it needs patience. It needs patience. You need a lot of um, patience. You need a lot of uh, 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 strength. Just like what the Prophet وسلم, was saying, a gawi yul Muslim ahsan min the evil mu'min. Gawi yul mu'min ahsan min the evil Muslim. Yani, um, the, the, a strong, a strong a believer is better than the weak one. If you have that strength in your um, uh, feet, you have that sincerity and strength that I will do it. I can do it. And inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you to do and you will uh, pass through it and you will do. Just like in the Surah al fatiha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Our Rahman Rahim. Our Lord, see how He is described. Our Rahman and He is our Rahim. So that means as far as you have the niyyah, it's one of the major in everything in Islam, you need to have the niyyah. What is the niyyah? It's the aspiration, the himma. I want to do it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you too and you, you do it. But not only the niyyah, you need the action. Just see the, 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 the prophets, the other Anbiya, Nabi Allah, Nuh, Nabi Allah, Isa, Nabi Allah, Musa, Nabi Allah, Yunus, Nabi, all of them, they passed through some challenges. One way or the other. But what makes them resist in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the faith, is the Ihsan. Agwa, min dunillah. They are strong in the way of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing can defeat them. Not a single thing can defeat them. So that is the point we are talking about. You transform yourself, 
you will be the best model of yourself. You will be the best model in your family and you'll be the best model in your society. But how can you transform yourself? It, it's not uh, something of rush. It's not something of, okay, I have to do it in one week. I have to do it in 10 days. No, no, no. It takes you a lifetime to transform it. Little by little. Little by little. Little by little. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أو إذا أراد شيئا أم يقول له كن فيكون He saves and it be But why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the world not in a single blink in a process which there are some hadiths that said six days or some said seven days but all of them some uh, scholars are saying it's not really so the days may not be what we are thinking of a day but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, knows the best but what we are just the point here is why did he created it in a certain amount of time to show us for us to know everything has a process Everything need a time. Everything need a process. Everything need to go smoothly. That's why when when you were given birth, you you didn't start walking. You didn't start speaking. No, you didn't start to eat hot food. No, it's a process. You start by take, uh, taking liquid food, little by little, taking more, more tikka, more, more tikka, till you start to later, you will start to consume each and every food that human can uh, consume. The same goes, you, 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 uh, you came to the world without you able to lift your own hands. You cannot lift your own hand. But gently, you started to move your hand, you started to move your leg. Gently, you start to try to sit down and Later, you try to walk and you walk and it's over. So it's a gradual um, uh, uh, form. That's why it is called transformation. Transform. Especially from a good point, uh, f f from a bad point to a good point. It, it, it really need a gradual process. And it needs a lot of uh, patience. Maybe you are used to some bad ways and you really enjoy it. Yeah, we know human heart is. Okay. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not allow you to follow everything your heart tells you. Just like today, more than once, some people say, anything that makes you happy, do it. No. We have a way. We have a, a, a rules. Not everything that makes you happy. No, no, no. So that is the process I'm telling you. Things that make you happy, you know, okay. Still, but you know it's not the right way or it's not the good way. So it takes you time to battle with your um, heart. And that's why the more stronger you are, the more uh, uh, opportunity you have to battle with uh, your heart and your ways of uh, 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 doing uh, things. And it takes you to have a strong mind and have a strong heart to conquer, to have dictatorship over yourself. Not your heart is dictating you. No, you dictating yourself and dictating your heart. It takes you to be a strong person to do that. So it's not an easy road, but uh, like made my own uh, personal advice that I will um, put on here is uh, you make yourself a road, you make yourself a kind of uh, a schedule. You have friends that do the same thing that you want to transform yourself from. Try to cut them out of your life. Put, replace them with the type you want to um, be. You stay in a certain geographical location. Is it your town? Is it your street? Is it your country? Is it your state? That is influencing you to do that rank. 
that is influencing you to do that bad. You do hijrah. This one, it's even in the sunnah, you will even have reward for that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you reward because you migrated from a bad place that you think that place is inspiring you or encouraging you to do bad. There is a reward for that. And um, the, 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 the next thing is take a role model. Who should be your role model? What type of channels you should watch? Who type, what type of people should be your inspiration? That will determine what kind of transformation you want in your life. You know, there are some, especially with the young ones, there are some, a lot of young uh, people. They, every day they wake up in the morning, they want to know what Ronaldo did. What, which song is the latest from uh, Lil Wayne? Or, <laughs> Astaghfirullah. Yes! But you should be a kind of person that if you are searching on your phone, you want to check which lecture will be the lecture of professor or doctor or check. You know, if you want to really transform yourself, like I told you, transformation doesn't mean you must be a scholar or you must be religious or you must be like, no. Just having the good manner, but you really actually need some models. You really actually need some friends around you that have the same qualities as what you want to transform yourself. For example, I can give you with me. Uh, yes, but I am having a lot of friends. But right now, hardly you see me with a friend. Maybe my best friend is uh, my wife. Yeah. And I go to sleep and then my book. <laughs> yeah. So this is the way of uh, transforming yourself. I don't go to uh, football fields. I don't go to um, a, a, a club or cinema. And yeah. And maybe, maybe I may have that inspiration before. But what I'm just trying to tell you is right now, myself, is be I have been transformed. <laughs> In the way I like it, in the way I'm happy with it, in the way I'm so excited. Why? Because, subhanAllah, I see a lot of young people like me. Their inspiration, their way of thinking, very nasty. SubhanAllah. Although still it's with our action, but we didn't do it for ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did it for us. With the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why it's very important to know the meaning of Surah Al-Fatiha. Which inside the Surah Al-Fatiha, always, as far as you pray Salat, how many times? You pray five times a day. That means you will read 17 times Fatiha. Each and every day. And in this 17 times Fatiha, you will read a verse in the Fatiha. You said, Ehidina Surah Al-Mustaqeem. Oh Allah, guide me in the right path. Surah al-Ladina and Amta alayhim. The same right path that the people, the righteous before us, they took. غير المقذوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Not the right path of Fir'aun, the right path, not, not, not the path of Fir'aun. Not the part of uh, 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 Haman, not the part of Lamarud, not the part of all the bad people that came before us. So that means technically, 17 times a day, as far as you pray five daily prayers, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you to the right part. This will show you how important it is to transform yourself into the, the, the right uh, 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 person, into the, 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 the right personality, into a good quality. SubhanAllah, even our parents that give birth to us, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, when he wants to explain the suffering and the calamity of what? 
of the day of judgment. He said that even a mother that day is not thinking about uh, its um, child or daughter. But even them, they are more proud of you. You see how it is explained the love of parents. But even them, they are proud of the good one among their children. And they will, they will love you, no matter. But they will not be proud when you are a bad one. Subhanallah. So to tell you how how interesting it is, how magnificent it is to become a good um, person. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among us and make us among the righteous. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us each and every day to stay away from bad and always make us admire good. Make us admire good. Not admiring something materialistic, not admiring worldly or something nasty or something crazy. You know, may, God, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us admire the right way. Just uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in the Quran said, uh, 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 Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Ya, ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Qu anfusukum wa nara. Protect yourself and protect your loved ones. So how can you protect people around you, like your children, your parents, your children, from entering hellfire? With you changing yourself first. Like before you change others, you really need a change from you, your inner self. You need to change your, your, yourself. You have children, you are doing bad, and you want your child to be good. <laughs> Yeah, it, subhanallah, Allah can do everything, but it's a kind of hard. Because they learn from what they see within them. They will not learn to pray five daily prayers which if they didn't see you going to pray. If they didn't ask you, where are you from? You said, I just come back from the mocks. Where are you going to? I'm going to the mocks. They will not get used to it, but if this, why are you going to uh, the office? Welcome, why are you coming back? No, I'm just came back from work. So, like, I'm not saying working is not good, I don't know. I'm saying it's also good, it's, it's also inspiration to them. But at least, each and every time you guys are watching TV in your living room, it's time for prayer. You go and pray. Even if you don't ask them to pray, they will be inspired by you. This is the power of a transformation. So we, we pray that uh, we will uh, make ourselves more, more better. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall guide us uh, to become uh, better uh, people in the world. Uh, and uh, we also pray that uh, a lot of uh, our brothers shall uh, transform themselves because it's the basic of uh, our life. Rabbana ahtina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-aakirati hasana wa kina azaab al-nar. Rabbana la tazik ulubana ba'da iz hadaytana wa hablana min ladin ka rahmatan inna ka anta al-wahab. Ya muqallab al-kulub sabbit kalbi ala dinaka. Ya muqallab al-kulub sabbit kalbi ala dinaka. Subhanaka Allahumma illa anta سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك صلى الله على محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين